What does dummy thick mean, Nick? Make sure her ass is fat as f Oh. Why does that have to do with dummies? Dummy is a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's used in the same manner as very. It's slang. gentlemen to another exciting episode of two vegans and a black guy where today we cook on white claws so what are we doing today boys all right so today we are doing a pulled pork we're gonna do the air quotations there because obviously we're not doing pork we are using some very lovely king oyster mushrooms also called trumpet mushrooms are they really yeah Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're gonna. <laughs> that was a trumpet. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Yeah, um, so we're smoking the mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna put those on the grill, smoke those for about an hour. While those are smoking, gives us a great time to get some coleslaw ready and our homemade barbecue sauce as well, which we're gonna show you here shortly. Yes, we're using my homemade ketchup recipe, which we will. If you want to know the recipe for the ketchup, let us know in the comments, and we'll make a video of maybe of it. And yeah. what is what is this ketchup called? What is this ketchup called? You guys have to say. It. No, what is it called? You are the one who named it. Well, what is it called? You named it. You said. I, I know, but just just say. Roach up. So we have these lovely king oyster or trumpet mushrooms that I totally forgot to show you all, but we're throwing them on the grill. They're gonna smoke for about an hour. We're setting them on the top rack of the grill because we just want to get them a low heat, let that smoke flavor get in. Because afterwards, we're going to pull them off and then we're going to shred them up and actually saute them to help crisp them up a little bit. That's going to give us a more pork like texture with this barbecue. And while they're smoking for that hour, we're going to go ahead and get everything ready for our coleslaw. So let's start that now. We're putting some kale inside of our coleslaw. That's going to give us a little bit, uh, a little bit more bite and texture to the coleslaw. And actually, when it comes to breaking down kale, it's really easy. Just run your fingers against the stem, like there's a leaf there, by the way. Let me get out of the way so you can show them on that camera. Yeah, so just run. Next. <laughs> we go again. So you just run your fingers down the stem, hold the stem, pull it up. You're gonna peel off that part that runs through it. It's gonna make it really easy when you're breaking this down. And then we're just gonna stack those up, get a nice chiffonade going on those. Chiffonade. 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 Um. Oh, dude, that sounds like one of my cousins. So what? Slaw master Nick here. It was gonna be saucier Nick, but I am a man of many talents, my guy. Don't don't question it. I was gonna be saucier Nick. I really had like this whole saucier thing. I was gonna stir the barbecue sauce. I was gonna like wink at you guys. It's gonna be really saucy. Um, but now I'm making coleslaw. That makes feelings about it. <laughs> mixed feelings. Oh, true. Lee is also another White Claw alternative that I enjoy. It's all right. It's not as good as White Claw though. I'm speaking of <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, again, Thomas has made this slaw already. He's got the base set up. I'm just gonna add some carrots that he kind of forgot. Super easy thing. Um, you can buy pre-packaged, uh, I guess this is julienned or um, shredded carrots, honestly. Either way, you can shred your own carrots if you want to using a, um, one of the things that makes cheese. <laughs> Shredder? Yeah, yeah, that thing. Or grater. grater. Yes, yeah. that one. I like grater. that better though. Yeah, anyway, it's- Incredibly. Vibrant, and I'm sorry you're gonna have to beep that. It's super vibrant though, it's fantastic, and I gotta stop saying fantastic. Next thing we're gonna do though, we're going to take our wet ingredients. We've got some apple cider vinegar, some vegan mayonnaise that I'm going to start calling Veo, V-A-Y-O, 
a little bit of red pepper flake, and actually a surprisingly effective binding and brining agent, uh, sugar. This is brown sugar, isn't it? No, cane sugar. This, no, it's cane brown. sugar. No, I was just double checking. <laughs> I was just double checking. Relax. Hey, listen, man, shut up. Never mind. I'm gonna get into this whole. I was gonna get into this whole discussion about light skin. All right, whisk action is done. Gonna combine our wet and dry. Now, just pour it on in. Super easy. Super wet sounding. <clears throat> no comment there. And really, just kind of your best mixing tools are gonna be your hands, always. Oh, I didn't see it because it was clear. Nice name, dude. <laughs> what is that, is that water? That, no, that was the where the brown sugar <laughs> No, I know, but what did you pour it into? Vinegar, he, well, there, the vinegar was in there and you poured brown sugar into it. I mean, they're going together eventually, right? <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're, You're not, not wrong, wrong. but. All right, so we have white vinegar, brown sugar, and one thing, because Thomas fucked up. Uh, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and our homemade ketchup, claimed by Nick as brochup. Yeah. Salt and pepper, and then we're gonna put it all in the pot, put it on the stove, and simmer it for a while until everything combines really lovely, lovingly. Now that we have the mushrooms off of the grill, we're gonna take them and actually what we want to do is we want to peel the skin off of these and that's because while the smoking process is putting a lot of flavor inside of the mushrooms, it's gonna leave us with some undesirable kind of chewy texture on the outside. So we want to get all of the skin off and then we're gonna shred these up and get those added to our barbecue sauce. Gamers. Yeah, if you're gamers, like send us some comments. We play games all the time because that's join right. our Discord. Yo, let's make a Discord. Shit. Also, if you guys didn't know, we all met online that's playing true. video games. That's we all true. met online playing video Don't games. Don't we look like gamers? Yeah, we fucking do. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. You didn't crack <laughs> it in anyone's face. You no, know, that's that's yeah. just your thing. Okay, I guess I'll stop then. It's <laughs> fine. Anyway, the more important tasting here. Mm. Not the white claw. Oh, okay. I was about to grab. We have it. our <laughs> we have our finished barbecue sandwiches here. So much bread. I love it. This is a nice. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I got it. That's a thick boy right there. Whippy, whippy. Yeah, I gotta set this down because hefty, hefty, hefty. Yeah, I'm just going hefty, hefty. <laughs> That's slaw though. It's just a nice cleanness, mm. you know. It complements the barbecue really well with the with the brooch up. The brooch up, yeah. The brooch up is really good. I really like that bread. This is spicy. It's the brooch up. Hey, what did you put in that? Towels. Mm. Yeah, this is getting messy. I need to sit down. I like yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go eat, and this is gonna be a wrap. Mm. Like, comment, subscribe. They'll tell you the rest I'm supposing, because I'm not going to say Pornhub again. We don't, we're not on Pornhub, dude. Not yet. What do you mean Pornhub? <laughs> Son of <a> <laughs> See you guys next Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Ooh, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. Bro's mad. Bro's, Bro's mad. mad. <laughs> <laughs> Apple cider. Has anybody ever said like the heart of a red cabbage kind of looks like a baby's head?
What? It kind of reminds me of like, um, I look at this dude, and I like see the leaves like kind of unfurl from the heart of the cabbage, and I, like for some reason I think of like a fucking a Madragora from like Harry, po Harry Potter or some shit. Yeah, but what? I don't know, dude. Fucking just... child, have you seen that has a head like this? I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I've seen a shit? show. Uh, the kid I saw at Area 51 kind of looks like <laughs> <laughs>